Everyone's journey is different. There's so many ways you can get scouted. Some people get scouted when they're younger, for example, me. And he skips into the Wolves penalty area. Zidane Iqbal, oh, what a goal that Some is. people get scouted as they get older and they've signed into an academy when they're 13, 14. So yeah, there's not just one way of making it. When I was younger, I used to go to watch my dad play football at um, just for local five-a-side pitch. I'd just take shots on him while he was in net. And as I grew older, started playing more and more. Then I joined a team called Sale United. Grassroots football for me was very important. I learned the basics really, passing, receiving. You can fall over, laugh, just enjoy yourself. It makes you fall in love with the game. I was around with development centres, coach pulled me in, I'm going to take you to the cliff, that's where uh, you progress onto. After a year or so, they offered me to sign, and I've just kicked on and progressed for uh, each age group. I think I started playing first when I was like six years old, and after that I was just a bit football crazy to be honest, through school. and. 20, like 24 hours a day, I used to just think about football. With a terrific recovery. My first football memory was an open day at Loughborough University that my mum took me down to. But it was a really good atmosphere. I went to play for Loughborough FC for a year and then got scouted from there to go trial slash open days at, at Leicester. A couple of months into that, I eventually signed for them. And I've been at Leicester ever since. It doesn't really get too serious until you become under 15s and you're trying to get your first scholarship. Uh, so then I think I started taking it really seriously and there's obviously a lot of sacrifice you have to make whilst you're young to, to be able to make the, the next step. Uh, as you know, it's so competitive, probably the most competitive sport in the world. Oh. Nose. A bit wider. Go on. <laughs> The journey is different for everyone, but I can tell you it's not easy. It's like a roller coaster, it's up and down. Enjoy it, just enjoy the ride. Uh, whatever it is meant to be is meant to be. I come from such a hard working family. My parents, they're always working hard. My brother, my grandparents, when they came to this country, they inspire me to always give my best at anything I do. On the pitch, Metsu Ozil, he's Muslim like me as well. Just seeing another Muslim footballer is a good thing. Sometimes the Asian voice has been lost in the anti-discrimination argument. And when you look at the percentages of the population that we're talking about, it's high numbers. Frankly, it's a big talent pool that we're missing. You know, within football, we don't have high numbers of English qualified players playing anyway. Clubs in their academies are always searching for talent. It's like in any business, if you're only selecting from a smaller section of the population, then what are you missing? Um, what I've noticed with the England team in recent seasons is that dynamic in terms of the supporters coming up to me has changed a lot. Um, far more Asian people coming up to me talking about their pride in the team, talking about the diversity of the team could only be even more powerful if someone from the Asian community was in the team as well and we had that greater representation across the board. I think that's everyone's dream. Whatever country you're from is to represent your country, whether it's at a European Championships, World Cup and African Cup of Nations. It's it's every boy's dream to wear the shirt you're from. So my first call-up was for the um, Toulon tournament. I wasn't really expecting to get called up. It's the best feeling in football. I'm yet to make my senior appearance, but it's something that I'm sort of striving to do. The day before, we will have training, so we analyse the uh, opposition, then we'll go through some patterns of play. And then when I get home, I just like to relax, uh, play some music around the house, probably go on my PS4, play a bit of FIFA, 